Like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. England heading to Perth in July for Blockbuster Optus Stadium Test against Wallabies The Wallabies will play at Blockbuster Test against England in Perth for the first time in 12 years at Optus Stadium in July. It was revealed by the West Australian last month that the game, on Saturday, July 2, will be the first of a three-test series. There had been earlier concerns over the WA government's border and stadium restrictions, but the match is expected to attract thousands of English and interstate visitors and be worth several million dollars to the state economy. WA Tourism Minister Roger Cook said, We're pleased to partner with Rugby Australia to bring England rugby to WA for Game 1 of the series, and for the team's first match at the award-winning Optus Stadium. As Australia's western gateway and the closest port to Europe, Perth is a prime location for the match, with this position strengthened in June when the direct Perth to London flight is scheduled to resume. It will provide a fantastic opportunity to attract visitors from the UK and interstate, who will support our hospitality and tourism operators not just in Perth but right up and down the coast. RA Chief Executive Andy Marino said the three tests would be a highlight of Australia's sporting calendar. To be able to host them in Perth, Brisbane and Sydney is a really exciting opportunity for all Australians and those travelling from overseas. The rivalry between Australia and England is one that runs deep across many sports, and we look forward to writing another chapter in its history this July. Wallabies coach Dave Rennie said, we talk a lot about wanting to challenge ourselves against the best teams in the world, and three test matches in a row against England is the perfect opportunity to do that. It's always special when Australia and England meet in the sporting arena. There's not many bigger tests in world rugby than when the Wallabies play England. A series win against England, ranked fifth in the world will be crucial for Wallabies who are one spot behind heading towards the 2023 World Cup in France. England coach Eddie Jones will be looking to extend a remarkable winning run in eight tests from 2016 against his home country. Game two of the series will be played at Suncorp Stadium on July 9, with the third clash at the Sydney Cricket Ground a week later. The Wallabies will be looking to extend their 10-game winning streak in Brisbane, including two victories to claim last year's series win over France and a 13-point win over Rugby World Cup holders, South Africa. The final test, and potential decider, will see a return to the historic Sydney cricket ground for the first rugby international at the iconic venue since 1986. It will be the first test played in Sydney since the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic. The Wallabies have only played England once in Perth in their 113-year history when Australia came away with a 27-17 win after a brutal clash at Subiaco over 12 years ago. Australia have played two previous tests at Optus Stadium, both against the All Blacks. Three years ago they scored a surprise 47-26 win in front of a record 61,241 crowd. Last September, the All Blacks' 38-21 victory was surrounded when the game was postponed for a month amid New Zealand's covered concerns. The Springboks were due to play the Wallabies at Optus as part of the 2020 Rugby Championship, but the game was cancelled because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Meanwhile, the Wallaroos are set to return to the Test Arena for the first time since 2019, with matches in Brisbane and on the Gold Coast to kick-start their Rugby World Cup preparations. In what will be their first test in Queensland since 1997, the Wallaroos will play Fijiana at Suncorp Stadium and Japan on the Gold Coast in May.